How are we doing guys? I'm Austin Pru with the Wilson Combat Shooting Team and Go Fast Concepts Firearm Training. And I'm here today on the Wilson Range to kind of go over just some basics of shooting. If you're new to handguns and concealed carry and all those different types of things, I'm gonna cover grip, side alignment, uh, I might go over some reloading dynamics at some point, trigger manipulation, sight picture, just on a, on a really base level to try and give you guys a nice intro video here. And what I'm using today is the Wilson Combat WC P365. It's basically a, a SIG 365 with Wilson grip module and slide, and we've actually got a Trigicon RMR mounted on top and a Streamlight TLR6 light and laser combo. So if you're in a self-defense or home defense situation, you can see what you need to shoot and you have a nice little aiming assist there if you're in a situation where you need that. The red dot is great, but we do have, as you can see, some backup iron sights that I'm able to see through the window of my red dot. I can see them through the optic there. So if my red dot either doesn't turn on or is out of battery or breaks otherwise, I still have a sighting system on there as a backup. So the first thing we're gonna cover is grip. When you're shooting a pistol, you wanna get your strong hand as high into the back strap of that grip as you can. The reason for that is the higher you get, the easier it is for you to fight that recoil. Once I've got a nice high grip with my strong hand here, I'll take my left hand and just point it straight out like this, and then I want to just rotate forward so I've got a nice, almost flat line across the back of my thumb on my wrist, and you'll see that fills in the gap here on the gun nicely. Additionally, if I want to, I can reach down here and press the button on my light. If you're using a light, a lot of them have a lever or a button on the side, and it kind of places your thumb in about the right spot to be able to do that. Sight picture. If I'm using iron sights, this is my front sight to the camera. This is the rear sight. And I want to make sure I'm lining those up so that the top of my front and rear sights are dead even across. Nice flat line across there. And it should be centered up in that notch. You want to put that directly over where you want your shot to go and you should be good. But thankfully, because I'm using this red dot here, what I'm essentially doing, instead of lining anything up, I'm just looking at my target and then I'm moving the dot where I want that to be on the target. That's exactly where your shot should go if your red dot is sighted in well. You'll notice that when I reholster, because I'm using an appendix inside the waistband holster, I'm making sure to look at my holster every single time. I don't wanna have an accident anywhere in this area because I've got two femoral arteries and a whole lot of bone structure down here that I don't wanna hit with a bullet. It'd be a really bad day. So I make sure every time I look exactly where I want the gun to go, I make sure my finger is very clear of anything that it might catch on and pull it during this process, you'll see people who kind of hover with their finger inside the trigger guard a little bit. The problem is when that finger hits something like a belt, it essentially pulls the trigger for me. So I make sure, and I'm very careful every single time to look when I reholster. You'll also notice that when I go to draw the gun, I get my shirt clear up out of the way so I can actually get my hand down onto the grip of the pistol. I don't want to be fumbling around with my shirt or anything else like that because if I come out with the shirt, when I go to draw, I'm not gonna tear the shirt. What's gonna happen is that gun is gonna come out of my hand during the draw process. Again, something we don't want to happen in any situation. Next is trigger manipulation. When I'm pulling this trigger, I wanna start off real light when I'm just getting used to this gun. Let's say this is the first time I've ever shot this gun. When I'm coming up here, I can feel that there's some take up there. That's the dead space before I hit any sort of resistance in the trigger. As I'm pulling this trigger, I come to a wall and I just gently start applying pressure and we have a little bit of creep, and then it breaks. The next thing I want to check out is the reset. So I keep the trigger pulled, I'll rack the slide. Once it resets, there's, there's a tactile click, and you can hear it as well. When it resets, I'm back at that wall, and it's essentially ready to be pressed again. So we've gone over grip, we've gone over trigger press, we've gone over side alignment. Now we're gonna do some shooting and show you guys what our hits should be looking like up close and at distance. We'll do some slow shooting and we'll do some shooting at speed. Try and give you, an, give you guys an idea of what we're going for when we're shooting this new carry pistol. All right guys, so we're getting ready to do some live fire here. And a couple of the things I wanted to cover now that we're getting to the shooting portion of this is stance. You'll see a lot of new shooters who lean back a whole lot to try and kind of help support the weight of the gun out there. This is a pretty small pistol that shouldn't be necessary. If you just bend your knees a little bit, your feet should be about shoulder width. If they're staggered, 
one in front of the other slightly, that's okay. We just don't want to see anything excessive where we're ending up blading our upper body. We essentially want to kind of create a triangle between our body, our arms, and our feet. Kind of something like this. It should be comfortable. It shouldn't be a taxing position for you to stand in because the more difficult it is, the tougher it's going to be for you to make effective, accurate shots, especially as we start pushing the distance. When we're making our grip, remember, high with a strong hand, all the gaps get filled with a weak hand. And a trick that I've talked about in the past, but I want to mention again here, is if you take that support hand thumb and place it parallel with the bore axis, which is about where it should be like this, if I imagine that I'm pointing that at my target, that's going to go a long ways towards helping me find the dot quickly when I actually present the gun up here. Just like that. So I'm just imagining that I'm pointing my thumb at the target and the dot's pretty much going to be where it needs to be inside that window. Now, when it comes to putting a magazine in, we don't want to ever have to twist our hands or put anything backwards. We should always pick the mag up with our index finger riding right along the front side of the magazine there. Our fingertip can touch the bullet tips, it doesn't matter. We just don't want to be clear down here and we don't want to be holding it any other kind of way. This helps us point it directly into the magazine well and then as we insert the magazine, that finger kind of peels away and then we drive the magazine home with the heel of our hand just like that. You want to double check and make sure that you get your magazine inserted all the way, especially because we've got a small compact magazine here with 12 rounds in it. So that's compressing that spring in there to try and actually seat this magazine. So you want to make sure you get it popped in there really well. When we press out, we want to make sure we're in a good comfortable stance here. We want to make sure we've got a good grip. We want to get our take up out of the way. I'm at that wall and then I press from here. Boom. Easy as that. Next one I'm going to press to the wall and then press the trigger. So if I don't press any more from there, and that makes my trigger pull much shorter. We don't have to come off the trigger all the way every single time. You just gotta get to that point where it resets and then you're ready to shoot again. That helps you shoot quicker and it'll make it a lot easier to be accurate instead of pulling the trigger from here all the way back in one motion. We can just go to that wall, reset. We're at that wall, nice easy trigger pull from there go through a reload here in a second. I'm going to rotate the gun enough so I can reach the magazine release with my strong hand thumb. I'm going to press that. When I come out, I want to make sure my mag is oriented correctly. Like I said, we're just going to point it right into the magazine well. And as we seat it, I'm, I'm doing this slowly, but as you seat it, you want to make sure and really drive it home. Because again, we've got a loaded chamber here and we're compressing the spring inside that next magazine. So it's going to take a little bit of force to actually seat that mag correctly. And then we're back, back to the races here. When I go to reholster this gun, remember being very careful and conscientious of where everything is, including this trigger finger. Want it well clear of anything that it might hang up on and cause an accidental discharge because again, Lower body is not a good place to get shot. A lot of arteries, a lot of bone structures where I'd rather not put a bullet. When I go to the draw stroke, especially when you're starting out, you want to be really careful and methodical. When you're just getting used to this and you're new to this, it doesn't hurt anything to actually look at it, get your shirt clear out of the way or whatever concealment garment you're using, get that clear out of the way, draw the gun, bring both hands together, extend into that good grip, and start shooting just like that. And it doesn't matter if I'm shooting at a close target or if I'm shooting at a far target. We want to keep that same grip all the time and we want to keep a strong grip all the time. It helps when you're shooting fast up close and it helps when you're shooting accurately at greater distance. No matter what you do, you want to make sure you do it safely. Take your time, learn things correctly, really put in the, the effort and the time on your dry fire and your live fire practice. And this gets pretty easy pretty quickly. I'm Austin Prue with Wilson Combat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, pop down in the comments if you got a new gun, tell us what new gun you're looking to get, and share this video with your friends. You know, if there's other content you wanna see, let us know, and we'll make it happen for you.